Hello to all YouTube viewers for visiting my channel, The Illusionist Photography. This is me, Sharad of Illusionist Photography, here to do a manipulation of the fallen angel. So let's quickly get into the manipulation as we see. And uh, so this is the main image which we are going to use. Actually, not the main image. Okay, I, I'm going to make the solution. Oh, I forgot uh, to unlock the layer. Yeah, unlock the layer. I'm going for quick selection tool and I'm making the selection. I'm going to select and I invert the selection as you can see here. Press Ctrl A for copy and Ctrl C. Create a new layer on this image and paste this by pressing Ctrl B. Now I'm going to resize the image as required. Uh, that is, it would be Ctrl T on the windows. And I'm going to resize that uh, stretch. So the image is a bit elongated. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, perfect. Um, uh, maybe a little more like that. And uh, voila. Okay. So I place the rocks onto the tree's background. So I'll uh, go to the curves layer. And uh, just the shadows a little bit. Mm, maybe it's all of like that. Okay. Okay. And now I'll make the adjustment on uh, the rocks later. Oh. Mm, okay, like that maybe. Maybe a little more. Oops. Oh. Made a wrong adjustment. Control Z. For back to going back to the next switch. And the Control Alt Z for going two steps back. And uh, okay, it's all up to your satisfaction. That's it. Now we have joined this image and this image to this layer. So, yeah, uh, this is the main image that we're going to use. And I uh, got this image from Deeper and Art. I will provide the link description of the images below. And uh, yeah, I've pre cut the image. Now, if you want to know how I cut the image, you can refer my other tutorials. And uh, I will be resizing the image to fit into the main background. But that will be Ctrl T, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, let me find a perfect spot for the image to be placed on. I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty much satisfied with the position of the uh, woman. Of the in the image now I have a cut image of the angels wings which I would be using for this image and I'm going to copy that by selecting Control A Control C and Control V to paste the image onto the background and uh, yep and what I say the woman ain't she looking hot <laughs> yeah of course she's looking good now I'm placing the wings and uh, yeah, making the necessary adjustments for the women and the wings. Make sure they go hand in hand with each other. Mm, okay, yeah. Now, uh, let's add a liquid brush size and they're going to make it black color. So, want to add a little bit of shadow on the rock where it's sitting um, so that the image blends with each other. Okay, I painted some black color. Uh, let's go to Gaussian Blur filter. I'm gonna Make your Gaussian blur reduce the opacity to around um, maybe yeah fifty percentage. Yeah, that's good. Fifty percentage. I can notice that the image has a little more depth under the position where she's sitting. Okay, let's add a new layer. We're gonna dodge and burn this image. Shiftify to fill and make sure you're sitting at a fifty percentage gray. And uh, 
to clip this layer I'm using the shortcut select on alt and uh, clip the layer below change its blending mode to overlay yeah grab the uh, not that one yeah the smudge the dodge tool sorry and uh, what we are going to do actually in dodge and burning is that we are going to boost highlights and shadows and providing more contrast between those two colors I mean actually not the two colors the two levels actually and I'm actually dodging the image yeah, maybe a little more on the knees and uh, even on the thighs everywhere on one side of the image actually yes more like that hmm okay let's grab the burn tool and make sure you set this to midtones actually okay yeah, I think the midtones for the percentage pass exposure value and I'm repeating the same procedure again to you know add lots of shadows to the image boosting up the shadows of the image Photoshop manipulations are actually based on how you choose to view the image. It may not be the same. You can even uh, I recommend not to follow exactly what I do. You may get inspirations from my tutorials. That's what I actually do. You can get inspirations from various people like Andre Opanicki of uh, PST Box and sort of. Right, so I've uh, done dodging and burning the woman and I've uh, reduced the opacity a bit, yeah, maybe around 50% each. And I'm not going to show you in this tutorial actually. I'm repeating the same dodge and burn procedure, yeah, see the before and after dodging and burning of the rocks as well as the angel's wings. So it's, uh, the woman feels a little bit more too bright so let us desaturate the image a bit by going cues and situations in the adjustments layer and uh, the levels adjustment the wings need to be a little bit dark, dark. So adjust the levels a bit by going in levels and adjustments layer now this is a cloud image a cloudy sky so oops uh, all right I'm going to make the selection of this the image feels too much bright yellowish so we want it to be a little bit more foggy effect. Uh, change this blending mode to soft light, facing that image using the same method I said earlier. Yeah, before and after. And I'm going to say, like to duplicate copy of this same clouds layer, and I'm going to place that under the wings, just above the rocks. Then make its blending mode to normal, 30%. So that will keep create a nice foggy effect. Okay, this is a mountain background which I found again in DeviantArt. Right, I'm going to paste that mountain background over there. Rough resizing it to the necessary size and change it. Uh, I don't know if you can view that. Yeah, change it to blending mode to multiply. And this is a lantern image which I found. I already cut that. So if you want to know the cutting techniques, you can refer my other tutorials under this channel. So I'm pasting the lantern too. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And uh, yeah, there's a flat rock, so you can perfectly sit there. Now, uh, what you want is uh, you want to add some light to the lantern. Uh, the lantern, so much the right stuff, you know. So, you this color a little bit more towards the orange or uh, lowish color, and uh, yeah, spade is in the brush and change the lighting to color dodge so that you know the lamp gets a feeling that's energized. 
okay now we want some you know light coming out from the lamp also so I turn a little bit more okay yeah screen and yeah change the name of the screen so that you can get the light now we want this reflection of this light on you know the angel's wings and uh, the angel actually the woman and uh, the area around the rocks so we are going to go to the layer styles the shadow which is you know the color uh, maybe that so, uh, in the shadow pushing up the size of the bits and as you can see we're starting to get some light on the angel's wings and uh, you can play around this play with this a bit until you are happy okay now let's go to the woman repeat the same procedure of not to the inner glow then a shadow okay yeah, maybe that color yes perfect yeah change is blending with the color dodge oh it's a little too much strong we can adjust the size and the distance okay that's good okay now we are to the final part of the image so uh, I'll group all of these visible layers the keyboard shortcut is control shift alt E to merge visible and filters color reflex pro and uh, I'm selecting you know detail extractor but they extract a little bit more details in the image add in another filter cross processing strength of about 33 percent each usually I prefer why not two why not six oh, maybe this time uh, a little bit more towards the blue yeah B04 may work or five or four okay I prefer this set to with four itself now uh, let's add a little bit more fog to the image is it it's opacity very low value maybe five percent h yes okay right i don't think we need any bit more filters and yeah save this image click on ok and uh, this is before color reflex flow after color reflex flow before after okay now i want to apply a little bit of camera raw so i'm going to save this image since i'm using cs5 camera is raw is not a built-in filter it's not a smart filter so save this file as a jpeg and uh, open this file in Adobe Bridge yeah click or right click on the image and select open in camera raw so that I get camera raw okay let's go on towards the blue to get the temperature okay as so the value is minus 7 good now uh, I want to add some you know gradient this graduated filter black uh, right towards at the bottom especially right exposure value uh, just okay somewhat like that okay and uh, I like the adjustment brush you know to spray some uh, light over her face uh, maybe yeah so you can see even around the uh, portion of the body oh it's too much exactly like that oh uh, right yeah added a little bit of light as you can see around the angel's legs face and the lamp okay uh, let's continue on. One of the most favorite effects is what we're going to add. Okay, before that, I may even be lose the blues a little bit. Yes, we're going to go to vignette, highlight priority, and uh, 
you know we're going to decrease the amount yes now we can see that the image is starting to win yet and uh, we'll go to split turning no, 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 definitely not a range. Blues, yeah. Look at them it's now starting, you know, to boost out the details. It's a night image. As we feel. Uh, saturation, I will decide to settle with that itself. Only to adjust the shadows. Yeah, the highlight itself is enough because it's typically a bit poor image with a lot of highlights. Done. Yeah, we're going to save the image, and uh, oops, not this one. I got an uh, okay. Right. Now this is before, after camera, before and after camera. Right. But uh, yeah, we need a little bit more light towards the lamp, so I'm going to add a little bit more the brush itself. It's like that color. And splitting with the color dot. Yes, now you can see a lot of color is being added on to the lamp. So it's a pretty simple procedure.